everyone, uh, welcome to uh, my floss tube. I'm Linda and I'm the one behind Linda's 144 hobbies. Yeah, um, let's see, where should I start? I hope everyone is doing fine. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe, keeping distance, washing your hands and whatever uh, your government tells you to do. Please follow those restrictions. Um, it is pretty darn hot here in, oh, well, usually they say it's the south of Sweden. I don't say it's the south of Sweden because I was born in the south of Sweden and moved north. So, well, I guess the southern middle parts of Sweden, it's very hot over here and I don't like that hotness at all. So, um, it's very uh, sad what's going on in the world. Uh, however, um, I think it's the best way is to stay put at home. Uh, don't go traveling around, don't go to the beaches, restaurants, whatever. Just stay home, stay safe. And that means since I'm off work for four, four weeks, I can spend a whole lot of time stitching. So I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, so I'm going to show a little bit of progress. Uh, I have no finishes. Surprise! <laughs> I have a little bit of haul. And uh, yeah, maybe a little bit of information of the future giveaway. Um, maybe some tiny plants. I don't like plants, but maybe, just maybe. Uh, what else? I don't think I have any questions I need to answer. Um, I know I wanted to talk a lot about different things with you guys today, but you know, when I turn on the camera, my mind goes blank. So I'm just gonna enjoy coffee. And oh, by the way, <clears throat> I have been l watching a lot of floss tube. This, I mean, it's just one week. I've only been off one week. And I've been really trying to catch up on all the floss tubes that I like to watch. Um, and uh, I don't know if it's just uh, that I have uh, more time or that I'm more relaxed or whatever, but I've kind of really looked what's behind the people on floss tube. And I know this noticed that some of you actually put a little bit of effort into it and I like it. Uh, so I was thinking at some point I like to have, have my floss tube outside because that's where I like to be. I like you know, the camping life, I find it very cozy anyway, uh, but not when we have like 30 plus Celsius, no, and then I'm staying home where my fan is, where my air condition is. Um, but I've seen that some of you have uh, finished stuff on the walls. So I thought, well, I have a little, a, a few finishes, which I am very proud of. Uh, some I have framed and on the walls at home. Uh, and these two here uh, are my latest uh, heaven and earth designs. They're very small, but they're finishes. And I love them, really, totally love them. That one was a stitch along they had um, I think, if I remember correctly, it was the last one they had, the free stitch along they had before. Um, and it's a quick stitch of one of Randall Spangler's dragons. Literate dragon, I think it's called. 
And this one is a mini of the Sunday Delight. So if you don't want to stitch these big, like 100 pages, um, you can do a quick stitch or you can do a mini and they look amazing and they're beautiful and they're a lot of fun to stitch. So the quick stitch has a more detail to it and the minis are a little bit more pixelated but you can hardly tell i swear they're they look great anyway and i have my cat which i talked a little bit about um when i showed you the stash before i found out about heaven and earth and i'm very proud of that one as well so and some paintings i've made and my cards from rachel and a little llama from my friend and uh, someone I care very much for and who I'm working with. And I have a whip. <laughs> I haven't done anything since the last time, but that's the once upon a fairy tale. So, yeah, I thought I should just put some, some eye candy <laughs> on the camera behind me. Uh, so yeah, I'm very, I, I like that a lot. And who gave me the idea was, I'm going to go into YouTube fast here. Um, I really like her floss tubes. She's so calm and nice and her name is... Oh, Handwork Maniac. And in her last floss tube, she mentioned that uh, just keep stitching, that they have a seasonal wall behind them. So they switch out their uh, finishes according to, yeah, if it's Christmas or I guess if it's like uh, patriotic days or Easter, whatever. Yeah, I don't know all the holidays in America. So she did the same. She put some stuff uh, on the wall and she had... Uh, finished pieces but they weren't framed and then i thought well pff, let's do that so thanks for the the tip i think it's great <clears throat> so let's just uh, dive into some progress i'm gonna leave my mirror for last because that's the most progress i've done so my uh owl forest embroidery and this piece is called it's called something with oh the enchanted forest and to me it's like i don't know i still haven't found out out what's the difference between a quaker and a sampler and what it stands for um i'm trying to ask around on floss tubes to see if somebody knows so I don't know if it's a sampler or if it's a Quaker or if it's just a cross stitch with different uh, things on. And then I wanted something. Can I use this paper here? Maybe I've seen that people put something, that floss tubers put something behind their fabric. And I was thinking maybe I should <laughs> try that as well. So this is my progress. Uh, the last time I showed you guys, I had only done this part, I think, of the building. So I finished the flowers here and the trunk and some other flowers and the mushrooms on this the roof. I really liked how the flowers turned out. And this one, I noticed when I looked at my uh, stitching and I looked at the picture, uh, I saw that it is a variegated thread and uh, you could see a great difference on the leaves on the finished, finished pictures, but y you can't see any variegating variation, variegating on, on my stitching. So I guess I'm really doing it wrong but yeah I still like it so that's the progress 
and it's stitched on 32 count linen um belfast swaggered i think it was and it's very nice uh i hear people say again all floss tubes since i watch a lot of floss tube uh that um it's difficult to stitch on linen and well it's i guess it's more um yeah smooth it's smoother than even a weave i don't know but i haven't found out what the big difference difference should be so i'm a little bit scared that i'm not as intimidated as i should be i'm not sure but i like linen and i absolutely love the way the hand dyeing turns out on linen so I want to stitch on linen. I don't want it to be difficult. So I hope I won't feel that way. So when I'm ordering linen, I'm trying to choose Belfast linen. Since this is Belfast and I think this is absolutely okay. That was that. More coffee. And... Um, The other progress I've had, I have, is my Squirrels of Sumatra by Ink Circles. And I told you guys I've stitched it before when Mina, my daughter, is uh, dancing in her dancing classes. So then I take the time, a stitch. But now, since it's summer, she's not dancing. Uh, so I'm trying to stitch on this uh, when I'm editing and uploading um, to my YouTube. And the other day, uh, when I was at the dentist, my husband was also at the dentist. So while he was there, I went to the library. I love to sit in the library because it's just very calm and quiet and you're just surrounded by books. And it makes me very calm. So I thought I should bring my audiobook, sit in the library and stitch on this for an hour and I had such a nice time so um, what let's see uh, I can't <laughs> it needs to be like a book or something uh, my progress um, I think I've stitched let's see a little bit more on the border and on this thing here yeah is that all mm -hmm. I think that's that those two but it's very nice and I, I don't know if I mentioned this before but I realized even though I'm stitching this on 28 count it's a hand dyed fabric from mystic fabrics uh, I'm using uh, the call for threads, Gloriana Acorn. And I'm stitching one over one. Um, so it's very tiny, teeny, but oh, it turns out so beautiful. Anyway, I thought that I calculated it correctly, but I didn't. And I've realized that I just bought two skeins of silk threads. And I guess I should get like three more which isn't a problem to get three more wherever I can find that uh, acorn. But I'm a little bit scared that the dye lot is going to be very different 
because you never know. Sometimes you don't see any difference and sometimes you do. So I really hope I haven't uh, ruined it. So that's that. Yeah, uh, last time I think I mentioned that I uh, stitched a little bit on my Heaven and Earth soft, it's soft as Steel, but I didn't show you guys because it was so little, it was just background. And uh, it's true, I haven't stitched anything since, but I wanted to show you anyway, because I just want to do that. Uh, so this is the part I've stitched, not that much. I mean, that's when it's just background and like one or two colors, it's, it's easy stitching, it's very fast. But I wanted to try diagonal stitching and I did that and that was fine. But <laughs> I have removed my um, fishing line. I use very thin fish line uh, to grid out a page at a time. And I realized that and I'm like, I have, I mean, the grid line, the grid lines are kind of a safety net. It's a safety net. And I felt like trying out diagonal stitching with no safety net. So I put it away. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to totally uh, miscount or anything. So. I will have to get back to that later and then I will just grid out the page. But the thing is also, I uh, am um, on Pattern Keeper, uh, I usually pick that uh, it should remove the page lines, but why? I think some of them I have removed the page lines, but some I haven't. Oh, never mind. I don't know. Anyway. I will have to grid it out. So that was that. More coffee. Mm. So, my Mirabilia, Miss Christmas Eve. I'm getting close. Not very close to finish, but I'm getting there. And it's just because I have so much time off and it's very easy stitching and it's just, uh, I'm enjoying, I'm really enjoying. Look at that, Woo oh. holy Lord. I'm sorry, it feels like I'm yelling. I'm sorry, I don't, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, this is beautiful. Hand dyed fabric, 28 count from um, a place on Etsy. And when I look close on her uh, top of the dress, I don't, I don't like it. But then I took a picture and stepped back and it looks very, very lovely. And you can see a little bit of when the light is catching the, the beads, there, there is no chronic in this. There's water lily, lily. Ugh. there is water lilies. And the hand dyed uh, thread is all these um, things going around in, in her dress. So, and it's the, I have beaded once before on my Mill Hill kit. And, um, <clears throat> that was fine. I used DM3 DMC thread. I don't know. Maybe that will st stick better to the, the, the fabric or car. I, I I don't know. But um, I noticed that at some places in the dress, I think I've now I'm I'm stitching with the invisible thread, and if I might have pulled it a little bit too hard. I've done something that 
you know um, pulls the fabric together so I'm gonna see when I'm done with uh, this piece if I need to to, to uh, redo them uh, because I don't want the fabric to be pulled uh, together of course and I'm using my Omnic the quantum frame I think it's called by Omnic Industries and well it's nice but it's not as nice as the Millennium frame in my opinion but I uh, I like them I don't have much more progress to show you so I'm just going to show you the Mirabilia again Just, oh yeah and I don't know if you can see the threads here the lines so I learned on YouTube on Flosstube I think she's called Luda Stitch with Luda a Russian lady living I think she lives in the States um, <clears throat> she said that it's easier to outline um, uh, the skin uh, before you start stitching because I'm stitching as I said on 28 count um, I stitch with two threads over two uh, but the skin I want to stitch one over one uh, so then she said line outline um, the skin before you start stitching because then it will be easier to see which areas uh, you need to fill out with the fabric no with the thread so I'm trying that and uh, for my next Mirabilia I can't decide on which one but I need to try to stitch on 32 count I'm very curious about that uh, but Luda also told us about how you can switch out the DMC threads with silk threads. She's using the Splendor uh, threads, Splendor silks by the Rainbow Gallery. So I need to try that as well, of course. So, <clears throat> but I don't have any of those threads. So where do we start? I have bought <laughs> project bags. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so jealous of all the nice project bags everyone is showing out there. And I'm like, oh, I want those, I want those. But they're a little bit expensive and I'm just too lazy and to you know to sew them myself I, I probably probably could if you know I had you know that the pattern and stuff but yeah I would really like to buy them so maybe in the future but this is how my project bags look like <laughs> and I think I hope they're gonna be perfect for my Mirabilias um, let's see here I'm sorry I'm off camera Um, see they're gonna they're gonna fit perfect in these plastic bags and then I can put the beads and the threads in there and just sip it up yes so I don't know it cost maybe uh, I think it cost around uh, four dollars and you get 15 project packs very cheap yes and we have Maya in the house hey good one come oh come and say hello oh hop this is my Spanish mm. 
stray dog. We adopted her from Spain. Yes. We love her. And I don't like her kisses because she likes to eat cat poo poo from the outside. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. All right, so <clears throat> uh, I'm like, again, on a Mirabilia frenzy. Uh, so I have ordered some kits from Hawkins Hobbies. It's on, it's on their way and it's on back order and everything. Uh, and I had these two patterns, the Gypsy Queen, friggin' beautiful. And I heard she was a little bit, that she's a little bit of a challenge with the beading and stuff. And she has chronic and stuff and everything. And then we have the, she's called Lady of Mystery. She's one of the first ones I saw. And I love the background. But I only got the patterns and the beads. And I thought to myself, now it is time to go get the threads and go get the fabric. So I have gotten the threads. So we have DMC threads and I didn't order uh, the threads for the skin since I've ordered silk threads. So I'm really like, I've made up my mind I'm going to do skin with silks and if I don't like how it turns out or whatever I know that I have uh, these threads in DMC and all the other Mirabilia kits so it won't be a problem because you don't use a whole skein for uh, their skin so but here's some nice beautiful colors and uh they're mixed, so it's for both of them. So I'm gonna kit, kit them up. And I got the Krennic for the Gypsy Queen. Let's bring them out. I don't like Krennic, but how do I do this? Focus. <laughs> Come on. No. no. But, uh, hey, if everyone else can stitch with Krennic, so can I. And yes, I've stitched with uh, Krennic on um, my um, Heaven and Earth a little bit when there's a little bit of detail. I don't mind that. So that's the Krennic. And then we have the, have the water lilies, water lilies for um, the Gypsy Queen. Now let's see if we can get some. Should I just do them one by one? Oh, Mina. It's her grades in here. I'm so proud of them. Nice purple. What do we have? Oh, the name of that was African Sunset. Yeah, beautiful. And some more purple. And that is Antique Rose. Very good. There's, those threads are so beautiful. And then we have a dark one. Oh, nice. And it is called Caracum. Caracum? I have no idea what that means. But they're beautiful. And I already had the water lily water lilies for the Lady of Mystery. Yes. So 
that is very nice very exciting i'm waiting on the fabric from crafty kitten to for the gypsy queen i have the fabric for the mystery the lady of mystery i have it somewhere i can show you later when i've kitted it up in a later episode and what else do i need mm, mm. the silk threads and then the gypsy queen also uses black whisper thread oh my god so i wonder if that's gonna be her hair or something very exciting oh we like a good challenge we do we do and uh i used the coupon or the voucher i uh, won by the crafty kittens uh 10 year anniversary and bought the fabric with that yes but the, i haven't received those so and we have another mirabilia let's see elenia princess elenia is that her name i just order i just order and i don't know the name but I mean, look at all those, look at all that glare. Let's open up. I order uh, my kits from Hawkins Hobbies. They're simply the best. I love them. Maybe a little bit expensive. I don't know. I haven't compared with anyone. But Princess Eliana. And I heard... It was uh, Heike on Stone Cold Coffee Crafts who said there were like 60, 61 colors in this? That's like almost a heaven and earth. Wow. But so this is the key. So th that is quite a lot. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. I love beads. Oh my god. They're just beautiful. And there's two treasures. Those are the big ones there. And yeah. So this design didn't have any specialty threads. But it has a lot of DMC color. That's a lot of fun. I'm not excited. Not at all. And I also ordered the fabric. I got the fabric in the kit. I usually don't do that. But I was, wasn't was sure if I wanted uh the fabric so it's a purple fabric it's very nice and it's linen it's a bit uh, harder peaceful purple linen i have no idea which uh design it is if it's uh Swagart or if it's perman or I don't know but yeah it's nice so I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure I saw someone stitch it on a uh, dark reddish color it was beautiful very very beautiful uh, so I'm thinking about the new mirabilia miss dancing flowers oh my god i mean she has the same color scheme as this one i'm not saying anything i'm not saying anything but she i think would look beautiful on a dark red background 
let's just leave it at that. Um, I will just set it aside and put it back in later. So, and oh, this is the fabric I got for my fantastic voyage. Uh, it's another heaven and earth. It's an Amy Stewart. It's a bookshelf. It's a super sized, regular colors. And I was awarded uh, the patron of the month for May by Rachel Ray. And I got a, uh, a gift card for a Lakeside Needlecraft. And I ordered the fabric for that. And I decided to be brave and not get the easy guide. So I will use uh, a grayish fabric because I just felt like it. I think it would be great. I saw someone stitch the Fantastic Voyage on a green, darker green fabric and I think that looked really nice. But I didn't find that green fabric so I went for the gray. And I'm gonna grid it with uh, the fish uh, line and go. I said as I, I wanted to start in the middle, but now I'm a little bit curious of the diagonal stitching. And since I chose the regular colors, it's not gonna be confetti hell most of the time, or at least all, not all the time, like when you have 239 colors. Um, so I'm very, very curious of doing that. And then you will stitch the whole piece diagonally. Not a page at a time, but a diagonal column at a time. And that was like, yeah. And if I then grid as I go, I should be kind of safe. Yeah. And using the pattern keeper. So, I mean, what can go wrong? What can go wrong? But, you know, yeah. I don't need to uh, it's a big piece it's a big piece and then we have the last stuff and I'm sorry for all the crinkling I like plastic bags at work I put everything in plastic pockets but I joined the fabric of the month club again uh, at Crafty Kitten because I want fabric. I want to have stuff to choose between. I want to have a piece of fabric if I feel like I want to start this project. Do I have something I can work with? So I jumped into that and I think I got to join April. I ordered like just a few days before she started uh, dying. So I said, sure, let's go ahead. So. I went on for the extra large package because some of the mirabilia is uh, you need a bit of a bigger piece than a fat quarter which is 18 by 27 inches so I chose the package where you get two pieces but and they're 22 by 27 so I think that fits all of the mirabilia I think most of them anyway uh, and the last time I chose 28 count even weaves and this time I chose 28 count linen and even weave. And I'm changing it for the upcoming month to linen 32 counts. Because I want to see that it's hand dyed. I want to see some effect. So to not get disappointed I decided to go for linen because then if I understand everything correctly, uh, the dyeing shows the best on linen. So yeah, so I'm going for that. So this is, I will just have it half. So this is the even weave, 28 count. And you can, you can see it on camera, I think, but there is a slight, 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 uh, something going on but it's light blue color it's very nice um i'm thinking that maybe a mirabilia could be stitched on this or something else i don't know 
but it's true a uh, crafty kitten does have um, a lighter uh, dye to it so if you want to go crazy bananas uh, with the dyeing I guess you should join another fabric of the month club but that means I think that I would have to join the Americans uh, clubs and then you have all the taxes and stuff so it's gonna be too expensive but let's take a look at the linen because this one is very beautiful and I think a mirabilia would be so beautiful I didn't say the name of it this is sunlit water sunlit water and this is April limited edition opal And because of my lighting and everything, you won't see the color variation. It looks, it's going to look very white, but it's not. It's, uh, it is a very pale fabric, but you have, um, oh, there you can see it perfect. Look at that. You have the blues, you have a little bit of pink. And uh, I think I should just look this way. <laughs> and you have a little bit of uh, like uh, yellowish, I think. So I would think uh, maybe Spring Queen or something would look nice here. Or maybe, yeah, one of the queens for sure. So very beautiful. And uh, I really like the feel to this linen. So. I hope it's gonna look be nice to stitch on. So I was uh, satisfied with this uh, this uh, these fabrics. Yeah. Yes. So that's that, um, and I got a few patterns I will show you here on my drive and let's see heaven and earth had a sale a 30% sale uh, on the 24th of June and it was until midnight and I was like oh that is so typical because it's the day before payday so, uh, and I said on the plus, the, the stitch along, whatever, I'm sorry, I hit the microphone there. Uh, in one of my videos, I said I have to um, uh, save the money for something else or whatever, yeah. And the next day, when it was payday, I read on uh, Facebook that they um, extended the sale for another day. So, but I, I only got one pattern, but it's not just any pattern. It is A Pirate's Life by Amy Stewart, again. I wanted to get uh, Spanglers, but I just love Amy Stewart's and I thought, well, when I saw The Pirate's Life, I was like, I'm... I need it. I need it. I need it in my collection. Uh, and I got the regular size and all. I didn't go bananas. No. Uh, so I think this one would be really fun to stitch. But now I have so many of the, <laughs> of the bookshelves and everything going. So I... I will just have it at my collection, which we're going to take a look at one day. And then I got two non heaven and earth. Oh, let's do the mythical creature as well. Uh, I got M for mermaid. M for mermaid, uh, which is uh, 
was it this week's? No, it was last last weekend's um, part of the stitch along. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's not the best to show the the pad on screen, but I don't want to edit, so that's just that's just that a blue mermaid for M. Yeah, I haven't stitched many of them, but. They're very cool and you can seriously just do one letter. So I could do M for Mina and just frame it or make a pillow out of it. So that's that. That's two. And then in the mixed um, patterns, I think most of us know that Long Dog went out and offered us the free pandemic pattern. It was free for a week. And after that, you have to pay for it. So I went in there straight away and the site was down, of course. And I was like, well, of course, but a whole week, I think most of us will just get the pattern the first days and then everyone else can go in. So I, I kind of waited for 12 hours and then the side was up again and I had no problem getting it. Yeah. Let's move on. <clears throat> and I saw um, I think it was just keep stitching who got a pattern which is called like a cherry blossom. And it is a um, PDF from Etsy. It's not so big and it's a sampler. And I really like the text in it. Uh, it says, your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. And I think that was nice. No, I don't remember the, let's see. No, I don't have it here. I don't remember the name of the, the store. So if you want to know, ask and I'll, I'll look it up then. Uh, she was great, great service. She was very helpful. Uh, so that's that. And um, I have quite a lot um, ordered, which is coming. Uh, there is, uh, yeah, there is a delay, of course, uh, throughout the world. And uh, I was very surprised, actually. I thought I had ordered my last knit crate like in March, but I canceled it because, well, I'm not knitting that much. And I said to myself, you know, paying the taxes and everything for that, I rather just order some nice hand dyed yarn if I'm going to stitch. So, and I, I've had it like on a tracking, but I thought, because it just says it's on its way. And I was like, but I don't think. I got that package. So, but the other day uh, I received uh, a message from uh, the post office saying, you know, we have your package, so please pay tax and and uh, the customs and the charge for the mail office to handle my package. Yeah, ripped me off for ordering from overseas. Um, so it's, it's actually going to come and I'm like, okay, what am I going to use it for? So maybe even that a future giveaway, who knows? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, but I'm really looking forward to all the cross stitching orders I've put. It's going to be very fun to see how it looks and, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun uh, taking a closer look at it and showing it on the f 
I don't think it's going to be in my next floss tube uh, because it's going to take a while. Yeah. Uh, so that's about it, I think. Um, yeah. So I might kit up uh, my memorabilia so I have everything settled with the fabrics and threads and everything and um i'm gonna go back to stitching on my mirabilia oh yeah and by the way <laughs> oh I, I i this hand dyed fabric is like almost the same colors as the skin so it is a real challenge to see my tiny tiny stitches as i said it's 28 count and i'm stitching it one over one the skin so that's a challenge, but I need to get back to stitching now. So go away. Bye. Oh, no, wait, stop. Wait, um, 500 subscribers. I'm getting very, very close. So if you want to be a part of the little giveaway I'm going to do to show my appreciation to all of you who, who are subscribers, subscribe fill out the form you find the link to the google form down below those two things has to be done to be able to enter the giveaway which will happen once i hit 500 subscribers now i need to get back to stitching so go away bye